Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am going to play with creating a, um, a flow troll uh, and a pouring medium. Medium. <laughs> How does it get any better than that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it up in my little pre-measured, marked measuring cups. And I'm going to go uh, half, so ugh, let's break, mm, how do I do that? Bum, 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 bum. Fifty, 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 fifty. Okay. I'm going to go 50% pouring medium and 50% flow troll and see what that creates. Okay. So, uh, hmm. Dim, 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 dim. So that you can see. Now, as you know, flow troll, if you've used it before, gets lumpy bits in it. So I put this bit of stockings, tights, whatever you want to call them, in as my strainer, built-in strainer. So can I just want to show you how much runnier flow troll is to pour to the pouring medium. So this um, pouring medium that we have here is the Decor Art pouring medium and it's new out on the market um, and it's definitely thicker than Floetrol. Um, in the previous video we did a test to see, see how much thicker that is, Whoop. slightly more than I went over. Um, we did a test with just purely the pouring medium mixed to um, the instructions. So let's mix this up. So we've got about 25 mils of pouring medium here and it is so runny it doesn't even, it just drips off. It doesn't stay on the stick enough to give me any quantity to pour off. Let's use a bigger stick. Very runny. And that's what I like to see. So, let's do... I'm going to use exactly the same paints again. I'm going to use the ones that they sent me, which is the Americana. And that way we can do a comparison between what we did with the just straight pouring medium and a pouring medium flow troll mix. The only thing we're changing is we're using flow troll, half flow troll, half pouring medium. Why am I doing this? Because I know a lot of us paint on a budget. And when we paint on a budget, um, before I do this, so that I don't get myself mixed up, I'm going to grab my marker, wherever I put that down, there it is, and put an F, FPM, 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 so this tells me that this is the flow troll and pouring mediums, because I've still got over here leftover paint from just the straight pouring medium so um let's do this magic now uh, they say 50 50 and i don't need a huge amount of paint for this so i'm just going to do up to the one third mark I 
hopefully I've got four thirds <laughs> pouring me. If not, I have to mix some more up. That was silly, I should have just left it in there. Um, so I haven't quite got enough to do that. Let's give it a mix up a little bit more. Okay, so I've now mixed those up and now I'm just going to go through and put in one third of paint each of the colors and then mix them up you see how putting that um, the, the runnier pouring medium in first allows for a really even um, measure of exactly the paint there we go and as I did last time I will mix on screen the blue oh this is much runnier so I've done 50 50 again just like it in the previous mix just so we can get a real sense of how much runnier the flow troll makes it. So we're actually doing an exact see straight away I didn't have to add any extra blue to the blue whereas last time I had to add another four mil or another forty percent of extra so looking good with that so let's see the yellow and white um were perfect well well we're pretty good consistency at the 50 50 ratio went into spotlight yesterday and um, they had a display that, by the way anybody in New Zealand they've got um, I hope this come, video comes out in time for you but they've got um, that other brand that a lot of you use pouring medium of um, on sale buy one get one 30% off or something or buy one get on a half price yep that's pretty good all right let me mix the other two okay so they're all mixed and let me pop them over here I'm gonna do the same deal as I did with the straight pouring medium all right let's do it Let's fall in love. So, now, can anybody remember what order I did these in? Let me just tilt you back up. Two straight. Okay. I started with the green, then the yellow, then the white, and then the blue. There we go. See? I'm scientific. Change one thing at a time, Michelle. <laughs> it's not the easiest thing for me to do. I want it all and I want it now. And that's just my humanoidness coming out. Oh, you guys want to see how runny this is? 
Let's see if I can give you a runny. Runny honey. to make sure I leave some for the final experiment. All right, let's move those out of the way. And bring you back in. Ready? Gonna flip it. Flip, flip, ready, set, go. Hi. <laughs> to get any better than that all right come out come out wherever you are so this is flow troll and pouring medium 50 50 the deco art pouring medium of course um and then mixed 50 50 with the americana paints I'm liking it. So, no silicon in here, remember, guys? But look at this. This is creating cells all on its own. The 50 50 flow troll and pouring medium. I'm liking it. Get some of those bubbles out. Let's see if it gives us any more cells just from bit of warm now bearing in mind that this was slightly runnier because the flow troll made it runnier um, let me just zoom in a little bit you see these cells through here I like them Let's tilt it. So if you're one of those people that's a bit scared of the torch, this might be a mix that you might want to play with. Obviously we need to see how it dries. But you definitely get some, get some self. I like that. I like that you can get cells without that's pretty cool. Alright, let's go and put our silicon in. So we've got our colours. I've got a tiny little drip. I only need a tiny little drip because I only got a tiny little bit of paint. Come on. Where are you dripping to? One. And none in the white, remember? Here we go. Stir it up. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not stirring a lot, go check out my other video on to stir or not to stir silicon. 
that was a fun video and let's do it again see if we've got enough paint left to get three layers oh that white seems to have some blue on it where did that come from it's bucketing down with rain outside for those of you that are in New Zealand and watching this I'm recording this on Tuesday so you'll understand the rain because I've always got to let my paintings dry so I can show you the finished results I'm half expecting the staff to come home in their big noisy trucks at any minute with this rain going on Glenn did what say he wasn't expecting to get a full full day out of it all right so this one is Floatron Pouring Medium 50-50 mix and 50-50 mix that with the Americana paint and then a little drip of silicon and everything except for the white <gasps> let's see what's happening ready one two three boop what else is possible what magic will be created with this lot Ready, set, and here it comes. Wow, check out those cells. <laughs> ah. Cell cells everywhere. Even in the cup. <laughs> wow. That's definitely got cells, guys. Check this out. So that is no torching. That literally is just the paint, the pouring medium, and the silicon. Doing a little dance. Singing a little song. Making cells tonight. Making cells tonight. Whoop, whoop. Wow. All right. Zoom you back out and stretch this. Oh, no, we've got to torch it. That's what we've done on all the others. Torch it first. Here come more cells. <laughs> wow. This is the way to go if you want cells, guys. and big cells big cells with multiple layers I think I'm gonna do a pink painting like this and call it how to make big, 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 big cells. <laughs> big cells with no torch even. I love it. So there we have our two. Flow troll and decor art pouring medium mix. Without silicon and with silicon. Let's see how they dry. Coming back to you in three, two, one. Okay, so here it is. Um, the dried result. 
and then try and get colours to match what I'm seeing because the light is a bit weird in here. It's raining outside, so I'm going to do this inside. So the um, they both dried great. I I don't have a point of view at all about the way they've dried. They are looking great and this one has certainly held its colour, held its cells. Look at those cells, aren't they pretty? Flowers are yum yum yum. I think this is my favourite of the four. The um there's the two with pure pouring medium and these are the two with 50-50 pouring medium and Floetrol. Now I can hear some of you saying, yes, but does it, does it stay flexible? What's all that sort of thing? So let's have a look. I've taken them off, I've unsellotaped them. And yeah, it's pretty flexible. It would go fine on a hat, no problems at all. Um, what about it? This one, the one with flow troll in it. Yep, yeah, that one's totally flexible too. So I'm I'm happy with either of those guys. I really like this pouring medium. It seems to have done a great job. Um, but as you can see, I've only used it with their paints. I wonder how it would go with my normal paint which is the Reeves acrylic. So tomorrow's video is going to be another tester. Sorry about all these testers. If you're waiting for me to do a gigantic pour, they are coming. Um, so tomorrow's video is all about testing it with the Reeves acrylic paint and the pouring medium. And I'm going to do basically all these same, <laughs> these same tests. Um, and I'm going to do them with um, with Reeves instead of the Americana paints. So see if it's interchangeable between those brands. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for coming to play with these tests. And thank you Deco Art for sending me these testers um, to play with and to share with my beautiful viewers. I do like the colours. Um, and I think that... They've come out really, really well. The only problem is you can only buy in my local shops the Americana in the two ounce bottles, which really, uh, for the amount of painting I do, a waste of time. Um, <laughs> how does it get any better than that? Um, so, I adore you, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. We will test out this Deco Art Pouring Medium with the Reeves acrylic. See you soon. Bye-bye.